Hello everybody, welcome to the training of the Thesis Island. I'm your host, Leandro Mada, and in this video, what we're going to have is an introduction about this solution. So let's go to the presentation. So there are different ways to present the Thesis Island. This is going to be my way to present it and showing how the benefits that we have using this solution. Okay, so as I said here in the presentation, this island is the load management solution. Okay, so let's continue with the presentation and show you what I meant with all this. So we have, as you know, a traditional way, as you can see here. So the traditional way to start a motor is using the contactor, an overload, and a motor protection. And you can use coordination one and two in order to start the motor with all the characteristics. So we can use DOL, we can use forward and reverse, having an additional contactor, or you can use star delta. Okay, but it's always a combination of contactors, overload, and motor circuit breaker. What we offer on the Tesis Island is to replace some of those products. And it's not just one-to-one, -one, it's the Tesis Island will cover the basis that you have for the for the contactor and overload in this particular case, but it give you more data. So here, there you can see the picture where I have on the right side, I have the motor protection, and then I have the contactor and the overload. On the left side, I have the test design solution. As you can see in this particular case, it has more space, okay, but just the picture I was able to find. So here you can see on the, first part, there is a module with some ports. That is the bus copper, and it's the bus copper that allow me to control remotely my motors. Now, we have different IEOS models, we have different models, but we're gonna enter in detail later. So, these are all the features that you may have with the Tesis Island. So, the Tesis Island, it, at the beginning, it has this bus cover, the one that you see here in green. So, the idea is to communicate with the island. Now, we as Schneider, we can use our Schneider PLCs, so we can use Modbus TCP, or we can use eTRNAP, which is fine, but in case you want to um, have this management for the motor, this motor management solution that we have, you can use any other PLCs that can talk Moda TCP, E2NAP, or you can use one with Profibus and Profinet in order to read and write information and control the test designer. Then, this is more than just having the contact with the overload. We have the possibility to use energy management. So, if you already have the contactor with all the protection and activation of the motor, and you also have a power meter, you can possibly replace that and having everything in just one island. Okay, we can have this energy monitoring for each device. Okay, having only just one voltage interface that I'm going to show you later. Something different is that we have the installation, it could be vertical or horizontal, okay, which is valid in this configuration. And something important here is about the limitations. We cannot expand this to the infinity. Okay, we have a limitation of the amount of starters that we can use. We can have up to 20 starters uh, or up to one meter, the length. Okay, then it gives us, this test is analysis like a, a data provider because you will see that later with the difference configuration I'm going to show you during the training. But it's not just the, it's not giving us just the indication that it's on and off. No, it gives us further information that help us to make some preventive uh, maintenance on the machine. And one of the advantages I'm going to spray along the training is that here there is not like a programming thing. No, this is just a configuration. You have the possibility to select an avatar, and depending on the avatar, it will select the starters and IOS that you require for the application and then you just need to configure it okay 
let's continue with this and this is a very nice picture that i like to share with you so this is like the different alternatives that we have using different models for the thesis island okay we have the beginning we have the bus coupler that is communicated with a plc in this case it's the m262 but it can be any plc that talks over the protocol that I mentioned before, ModSP, Ethernet P, Profinet, and Profibus for the moment. Then we have the voltage interface that is connected to the supply of the motor. Okay. And then it measures the complete island. So if we have different motors using just one voltage interface model, it will be enough. Then we have the starters. Okay, as you can see over here. And it depends on the avatar selected. For example, if you use 400 bells, it will add automatically another starter along with the starter that you have already selected with the avatar. But I will show you that later. Then we have the possibility to use a seal. Okay. For the safety application, we have the possibility to use the starters, but this one covered in red. Okay. Using a seal interface. So we have that already in there. We have the power interface just to measure and then control the load that we want. You can see here it's using with a soft starter or it can be used with a drive. We also have the possibility to use digital IOs. So we can have the possibility to link a activation starter to be local or remote or just additional IO to the island. So in case we want, for example, we have an uh, traditional way of working with a starter that we have the possibility to change some of the IOs that are linked to the controller and put it on the island and then you can reduce the PLC IOs and you can communicate everything in just one cable in case they are apart and then we also have the analog, I, analog IO module so in case we want to use for example a PTC in order to check the temperature and everything we have the possibility to do that So, as I mentioned, we, we have the starter model that is going to be the one of the main components here in order to control the motor okay, remotely. And we have different sizes, okay, depend on the power of the motor we need to control. And it goes up to 80 amps, okay, so something that we need to take a look further. If we want further, probably we just need to go for the traditional way. Okay, we have digital IOs, analog IOs, and we have the voltage interface. So this is what we cover. And then the combination of these things will give us different avatars. So, for example, in this particular case, I have different kind of avatars. We have for application, we have for load, and we have for device. So we want, for example, a switch we can use this one and it will add all the elements that we require in order to do that if you want for example to replace a standard dol one direction is this one motor one direction if you want for safety application you have these two with different categories okay if you want forward reverse you just need to add this one into the configuration and then it will add all the elements and then you just configure so we have now the possibility to configure and then we have the validation through the software what we can do so now what i'm going to do is to show you the SOMO, which is the environment that we can use in order to configure the island so this is a move it's free you just need to register the software under your name and that's it you will need to download the dtm that you can be downloaded from our website, DTM. And then here we just need to create our project for this design. So this is and create. We just then need to define which is the communication of the test island. But here you have all the physical view. On my avatar is where we're going to configure our motor management solution. So in my case, I have more TCP, but you can see here it's Profinet, Profibus DP. For the moment, we have this. Here in Avatar, when we add an Avatar, 
here you can see that we have different things we have favorites we have devices load application and custom in case you want to create your own avatars you can do it so for example digital io if i want to add an io module over here in case you want for example to replace some of the ios or for example you have the solution is it's not close okay for example you have one io distributed i don't know 30 minutes from the mill plc instead of putting too many cables around you just use a bus coupler this test is island and then you can put the ios over there and just use one ethernet cable and to read the data the data so that can be one solution in load for example i have motor one direction and if we add the starter we can use local control yes and the system will add to the solution this avatar the digital io then we have the possibility to use low energy monitoring okay brilliant which is the vim and this will be helpful for this particular avatar or all the avatars in the island we also have to possibility to use temperature sensor okay and we will add the analog io for us so we have this in order to measure it then at avatar i can use for example uh, bum, 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 motor two direction forward and reverse and it will add two starters okay here you can change the starters based on what you need to do here you have the rating so it's going to be a uh, 30 kilowatt they will change that for us you have the possibility to use local control or not i'm going to select it load monitoring yes I'm going to monitor and you can see there is no additional vim because I just need one for the complete island. If I want to use, for example, the load here for motor to star delta, one direction here. Okay, I have it. In this case, I'm going to use low energy. Okay. So here you can see that I have three starters, even it's just one avatar. And then if we go to the diagnostics devices, we can see our complete island. Okay, so I have this link it to this two for the year. I have these two link it for the foreign reverse, and I have these three together as an avatar for the star delta. So, for example, now that I have already complete this information, here you can see that I have all the data. Okay, as a data, our contactor cycle, turn on, turn off. I have a lot of information. And if I go to energy monitoring, you can see the for the whole system, okay, the information, or you can enter into each avatar in order to access to the data. Energy monitoring, time of use okay you have all this information available okay but you can see this two direction i have everything here that if you have for example a traditional way okay you will need the contactor the overload and then you just need a, a power meter here to just have one device communicated with just one cable to the plc to share the data later to the cloud or to the hmi or to whatever you want so this is one good thing. Then you have the possibility to go to settings and you can make the setting for each of the avatars. Okay, so for example, this one, one direction, I have the analog input, so I can use a sensor here. I have the motor overheat that in these two, I didn't add it. Okay, so I just have the thermal overload. Okay. Can I set the trip class? I can enable the alarm or disable the alarm. Okay, we hope we have the possibility to make the alarm and then the trip. Here you have the all the electrical protection. Then I'm going to explain that in different parts of the training later. Okay, and this for two direction, but you have it also for one direction. 
So I have further information in case of a stop of the motor, obviously a problem. I have all the history and I have the details why it failed. Okay, that having a contactor with the overload, I know that it's not running, but I may not know the reason why it failed. Okay, so I have all this information here available for us. Okay. So let me check if I forgot about something. Check the avatar, check the TM. So I believe I covered most of it. Uh, here is just one application I have done, just to show you that I can control this. But I know now with the equipment, I can go to the diagnostic and see the events or counter events. I can see everything over here. In this particular case, you may see that I have the control or not. I can see. If I connect it with the, I don't know, it's operational. Number of device powers like 82, turn on 45 hours. So I have a lot of information here that with the, just the contact with the overload, uh, we know have, and we probably need a PLC. You don't need to make this for me in order to have it here. As I mentioned before, this is a data provider. So I have all this information available for us. So. Let me just go back here to this presentation, this part of the presentation. So this is more than just one replacement for the contactor. Okay. And an overlook is give us too much features that we need to consider that. So later you will see in the training that how it changed for having, for example, replace one particular motor with having this this is island solution so i have what i have before in the traditional way but a lot of data and the local and remote control so i'm going to show you that later so this is like a overview introduction of what the thesis island can do for us and i will go into detail for each of the avatars and the different protection and everything about this offer so thank you very much for watching this video and i see you on the next one Thank you.